everyone and welcome to my channel. What I wanted to speak about today is God sanctioned the very first marriage on this earth, folks. Way back there in the Garden of Edom. Yes, Adam and Eve, folks. He sanctioned, he ordained the very first marriage. Yes, because Adam was in the garden alone, folks. God created Adam from the dust of the earth, folks. But he found out that Adam became lonely in that garden by himself. Because Adam was put there to, you know, to dress up the garden, folks. Or to take care of the garden. But as God found him to be lonely in the garden by himself, he put Adam into a very deep sleep, folks. He put him into a deep, deep sleep. And then God removed the rib from Adam and put the rib into the woman. This is where the word woman comes from, folks. God removed the rib from the male and put it into the woman. He removed the rib from Adam and put it into the woman, folks. Yes, God sanctioned the very first marriage. He ordained the very first marriage back there in the Garden of Eden, folks. Yes, this is where it all started, folks. And see, marriage, once you're married, you're intertwined as one, folks. You're no longer single. You're intertwined as one. You know how things together intertwine, folks. You're intertwined as one. Yes, intertwined. You're intertwined as one, folks. He sanctioned that marriage, folks, together. And if you are a married, you know, if you're a person who are looking to get married, you know, follow the roadmap that God gave us, folks. He told us, he said, a man who finds us a wife, find us a good thing, folks. This is what he said to us. He said, a man who finds us a wife, find us a good thing. He didn't tell the ladies to go out there and look for a man. Because if you go out there looking for a man, you might run into the wrong person, folks. Yes. See, God, God, he'll put your helpmate in your path, folks. And this is what God gave to Adam. He gave him a helpmate. Eve was his helpmate. This is what he gives each and every one of us people who out here are married. He gives us a helpmate. You see, your wife, she plays a very significant part in your marriage, folks. So treat your wives like queens, people. Guys, please treat your wives like queens out here. Because that's what they are, folks. The wife is a part of us, folks. The wife is wearing one of our ribs inside of her, folks. Yes. This is what God sanctioned in the beginning over there, folks. This is where it all started at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When he took that rib from Adam and put it into the woman, this is where this word woman comes from, folks. Yes. He took that rib from the male and put it into the female and created a living soul, folks. Yes. This is what happened back then, folks. And this is what's going on today, folks. We have to, you know, we have to take our marriages real serious, folks. This is nothing to play with. This is this is something that we should hold dear to, folks. If you're married, treat your wives like queens, men. Don't treat your wife like a dish rag or a carpet that you can walk on. No, treat your wife with love, peace, and respect, folks. Treat her with compassion, guys. Yes. Because this is the map that God gave us to live by, folks. Yes, treat your wives good, folks. I mean, don't try to treat your wife like dirt. Because that's not what she is, folks. She's a living soul, folks. Because God took that rib from us to put into one month, folks. Yes, he took a rib from the male and put it into the female. So we are a, we are a part of each other, folks, once we come intertwine into that marriage union people yes so if you married or trying to get married think about this thing real good and hard before you jump into it folks just don't go ahead and marry somebody for all type of reasons make sure that you love this person but first of all you have to love god before you can love anybody 
Make sure you love him. Make sure you have that love of God in your heart, folks. Yeah, I thought I would just touch on that a little bit today, folks. Just a reminder to keep that love of God in your heart, people. Keep the love of God in your heart at all times. So if y'all like this message, stay tuned, folks.